decline too. Close it. Okay. Let's go to client two. My computer managed. Let's see what are the users here. Users are Rob and Tom. Okay. Uh, in this case, we are going to create a folder here with the name with the administrator um, with the name of for instance tiger okay and within it we're going to create another file compressed zip file folder um, here we name it here and close it simply right click on it sharing and security enable it share this folder and apply and OK OK and here we are let this let it be here let's go back to client number three okay we would simply log off here and log on as married or melody log off log off to see if we have access to that specific folder as you see right now we haven't added Mary or either Melody to the users of client 2 but we have created a folder that has share access on it we are we are going to see if we have access to that specific folder or not It will take a little bit of time. Well, um, the, what's, what is going to uh, happen right now here is that uh, Melody won't be having access to that folder and we would just simply click on it. It would give us an access denied or either it would give us another option to enter a, another username or password of another user that we have that has access to that, has access to that folder. Um, so we simply don't have access to it and after that we are going to add Melody to the client to computer users and we would come back here and see that simply by double clicking on, clicking on it we would be able to um, open up the folder and do whatever we want to do okay so let's go to my computer the my network places link is here okay here we are butter on client 3 oh this is butter on client 3 excuse me okay. okay so as you see here even the share is not displayed um, although let me see on client 2 we double click as you see here we don't have access to client 2 so when we go to the when we go to the network folders here my network places the folder that has been shared on client 2 is not even um, shown to us so if we even attempt to um, go to view workgroup computers and go to client 2 since our username hasn't been added to the users it would ask us for a username password okay so let's go ahead and on client 2 let's add the user melody here we are let's add the user melody here melody to the the users of this computer let's see if she would have access or not okay we added her let's go back to client 3 let's close this open it up again just for a refresh my computer my network places give it another refresh here we are tiger on client 2 just simple as that we just added melody to the users and it's displayed here we just double click on it we don't have access to it the reason we have to go back to client 2 and here it's a little bit different from the time that we were sharing folders and giving access to users while uh, we were using guest authentication we right click on it sharing and security 
and this tab is a new tab that while using local um, user authentication would be added there's uh, several groups on this folder on this um, tab as well administrators everyone system users uh, and so on and even individual um, users as well so here I just add uh, everyone uh, with the permission to allow read and execute this folder contents and read to this folder clicked apply and OK and went back to client 3 and I had access but still I don't have access to create a folder because I didn't have access I didn't give access to anyone to create a folder here so I get access denied okay so that's not problem at all okay so um, before that I didn't have access and after that that I uh, added this user account to the computer I had access okay so one last thing that uh, actually one more than one last thing um, let me show you the way that you have to um, let's go to client 2 the way that you have to share your disk drives simply for example disk C let's um, volume C let's um, right click on it sharing and security um, um, the root drives normally are shared only for administrator accounts just um, remove the share click apply and it would say the share was created for the share was happy the service to stop and restart it I sh yeah we want to stop the sharing share this folder again and say apply click apply and it would simply disk drive you just give it a comment and it would just uh, simply be shared let's go back to client 3 to see if it's shared or not go to my network places well here it is C on client 2 is shared as well let's go back to client 2 click OK share our CD-ROM drive sharing our, our security share this folder C DVD rewrite OK, apply and OK. And let's see if we could share our floppy drive. Possibly we could. Yeah, sharing and security. Share this folder. Comment floppy drive. And apply and OK. Let's go back to client 3. OK, here we are. D was the DVD ROM. A was the floppy drive, C was the disk drive, Tiger was the folder that we created, Butter is, uh, is on this computer, and so on. Okay, so one last thing is left is the printer. Oh, the printer. For sharing the printer, what we have to do, let's go back to client 2. Um, simply, you go to printers and faxes. Um, here, this is a virtual printer, but you would have the same printer. Uh, as the, your home printer here simply just right click on it um, click on sharing and share this printer give it a share name printer for example and go to security and there, here's everyone you could actually add uh, specific individual users here or you could give access to everyone for printing manage printers or manage documents or whatever you're um, about to uh, manage okay so click apply if it was me I would only would have chose them to allow them to print and not to manage anything now I would set apply and okay and I would go to client number three and go to start go to printers and faxes go to add a printer click next a network printer or printer attached to another computer click next browse for a printer, click next client, it automatically found the printer that I've shared client 2, there's a printer here you're about to connect to a printer on client 2 which will automatically install a print driver on your machine print drivers may contain viruses or scripts and so on, would you like to continue? yes and it would go ahead and actually install the drivers that it would need and here we are, it's finished and we are using a network printer well um, one last thing that is left this was about the printer so